Okay folks, we're doing a craft room tour today and um, this is the outside of the door and this is the sign Jade got me for Christmas. Okay, so you open the door and on your left hand side is a, a 16 and an 8 IKEA box. Okay, up on the top. We've got our printer, our, this is actually A4 Mura card that I refuse to part with. I keep forgetting to use. Those are my Spectrum Noir Triblends. Just odds and ends for making charms, for Christmas boxes, sequins. Those are my ink blenders and that box there is Gilding Flake and this is Riley's Bed. Okay, covered in here. So, we'll go back to the start. This here is a fridge box that I got off Amazon and this is all my Christmas stamps. This is A4 stamps from magazines and some odds and ends, embossing folders and flowers, and then the bottom two, both the bottom two are full of 12 by 12 papers. That red box has got Christmas stuff, snow, baubles, whatever else, uh, snowflakes, stuff like that for Christmas. I have four drawers in the middle and on this one is all my some ink refills, alcohol inks, Nuvo shimmer powders, these things that I haven't used in forever. I haven't the heart to throw away. That one there just has punches, and then this is another fridge box, and it has background stamps and sentiment stamps. This is my glue gun and my heat gun. This fridge box has got the character stamps in it that I keep to colour in. Those there are my tri blend Spectrum Noir tri blend brush markers but they don't have a big arrange as the uh, bullet tip ones and here's just odds and ends some more punches envelopes foil card and sticky stuff what's in here Oh, oh yes, a glue gun, a brand new glue gun if anybody wants one, it's only a little one, but it's no good to me. My Arteza brush markers, my Arteza watercolour markers, my Zig King colour brush pens and my brand new colouring pencils that I don't like using. Mmm, this is my card bases, and, and as all good crafters need, one's hammer. <laughs> Don't ask me how that got in there, but it did. And these are some foil card kits that I don't want to part with. What's in here? Dies, card making magic. Tattered Lace, Sue Wilson, Tonic, and anybody else I have. These are Easter stamps and dies. Then Wedding. And then Christmas dies. And that one. This one has Slimline dies. Magazine dies, 
and unbranded dies. These are the overflow 12 by 12 papers that I got from D and Mandy. I don't know room for. This is my A4 col coloured card. And this is A4 phone card and A4 speciality card, glitter, foil, etc. Underneath, those are our, all our patterned papers, 6x6 six six, right up to A4. And my large bottles of Kalal. Down there, these are my stencil books. These are full of stencils, and then my overflow stencils. This is acetate and something else. Envelopes and stick and stay. These couple of drawers down at the bottom have sequins and shaker bits in them. I don't know what's in that one, I'm not looking. So I think that's it. Then you come over and this is my window. These are my nice fairy lights. Lovely void curtains that I got for my birthday for it. This is my desk. It has my computer. My glass mat, both my Gemini's, my large one and my small one, my Tim Holtz, guillotine, small one, and this is my pegboard, it has shiny things and distress ink refills and sequins and nuvial drops. All these new drops that I've never used. My own shimmer sprays at the bottom there. Uh, scissors, spray bottles, brushes, odds and ends, sequin or tweezers, sticky things, glue pens, you name it. Up here I have my brushes, my blending brushes. I've got these little dishes at the top and the bottom and they're full of flowers and balloons and things that I've die cut that I add to carts. Let's see, this is uh, my top shelf with my sprays, oxide sprays, and then some beads and flowers and confetti, pom-poms up at the top. And these are, this is my beautiful grandson. This is him and me. This is us. At our wedding. This is me and my husband. I have them behind me. I have this massive box thing that I got from the range and then I have another E at Ikea. And then I have my Hoover in behind the door. I bought for Christmas. What's up in the top is paints and brayers and rolls of foil for my foil machine and this is all my foiling machine and my foil stamp and dies. This is my scan and cut. This little thing has got some stencils in it, some flowers, etc. These are my Arteza 120 alcohol markers. This here is my mini mink machine. 
This is my tripod for my camera. These are little mini blending brushes that I have never got round to using yet. This little thing in here has odds, has flowers, general images coloured in. Um, these are meal, those are general, or Christmas. What's in there? Ooh, larger images and trees. This thing here has the dyes that I use all the time in it. And I just slide over in my tray and my chair and lift them out. And then this here is dyes that are too big. A4 sets of dyes, etc. This one here has my punch board, notebooks. What's in that? What is in that? Oh, yes, Christmas. Christmas snowflakes. This is my scrap card box down at the bottom and this is where I store my cards when they've been enveloped and um, etc. I have my A4 or 12 by 12 whatever it is, a large guillotine in there. This little magazine rack holds my scoreboard, my 3D box maker, my stamp press, that's a little stool in behind it, magazine stamps I haven't used yet, oh treat drawer, more things that I haven't used yet that I have to get round to using. Those are my extra guillotine or Gemini plates. These are all Christmas stuff that I bought at Christmas time and haven't used yet, so I'm leaving them in there until this Christmas comes. These are all cards ready to be made and filmed. This is empty. Yes, we're empty from there down. So we have space. This is my Alexa drawers from IKEA. The top one is full of everything. My embossing powders, my black inks, my sticky stuff, my other inks, my embossing powder, my extra scotch tape. Some stuff like glue yet, glossy accents, you name it. I got it. And this is my gem drawer. <laughs> These are all gems. There's two boxes of them there. This is my desk hoover. You put it on you and you hoover your desk with it. I don't know. The sharpener, rubber, stapler, etc. These are all my stamp and up inks in colour families. I'd like a new system where they were out somewhere, but I'm not sure where I could do it at. I'm not sure if I've got room there to put shells in. Maybe. These are my Distress Oxides and my Distress Inks. Um, these are all mini tube inks from Paper Class Society, Perfect Pearls. What's down there? This is my twine and those are my palette, what do you call them, what do you call these, palette knives, these are all my pliers, 
Those are my extra specs. Some twine. And then the last drawer is all ribbons. And I think that's about it for my craft room. So, thank you so much for stopping by. This is my new chair I got for Christmas. Um, I hope, I don't know if you can even see the lovely lights. Where if I shut the curtains? I shut my blinds. Yay, those are my nice lights. This is my <laughs> light switch. I can dim them, I can put them on diff different things and I'll switch them off and on at night. So thank you for stopping by. I hope you liked it. Remember to give me a thumbs up. Come back for some card making videos. Make sure you're all staying safe and well. And until the next time, check me out.